In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve an equation with rational exponents, such as 3x minus 2 to the 3 fourths power equals 64. And the way we go about solving equations with these rational e exponents, or fractions for exponents, is we remember a fractional exponent simply means we have a radical, where the denominator is the index on the radical. So we really have the fourth root of 3x minus 2. And then the numerator remains as an exponent on the entire thing, still equal to 64. And so just as we peel an onion from the outside in, we're going to peel the pieces off of this equation to find x from the outside in. One thing we might notice, though, is looking at the exponents and the index, we have to be careful of evens. If we have an even exponent, we're going to end up with two solutions. We, don't, we have an odd exponent, so one solution, no worries there. But we do have an even index of 4. If we have an even index, that means we have to check our solution when we're done. All right, let's solve it. From the outside in, the cubed is on the outside, the opposite of cubing is to take a cube root of both sides. Cube and cube root are inverses. We're just left with the radical inside. The fourth root of 3x minus 2 equals the cube root of 64 is 4. Again, because we're getting rid of an odd exponent, we only have one solution. Now we can get rid of the fourth root with a fourth power on both sides. Fourth root and fourth power are inverses. We're left with 3x minus 2 equals, and 4 to the fourth power is 256. We're left with a two-step equation. We can quickly solve by adding 2. 3x equals 258. And finally, dividing both sides by 3, to give us x equals 86. However, before we're done, we need to remember we have to check the solution in the original equation. We can check it in that radical form that we rewrote, because we didn't do any math, we just wrote it in a different form. So the original problem was the fourth root of 3x, which is 86, minus 2, all to the third power, hopefully equals 64. Multiplying out 3 times 86, we get 258. So we now have 4 root of 258 minus 2. All of that cubed, hopefully that's 64. Subtracting, we get the fourth root of 256. All of that cubed. Hopefully, that's 64. Finding the fourth root of 256, we can either use some guess and check, or we can factor it, and find out the fourth root of 256 is 4 cubed. Hopefully, that's 64, and sure enough, when we do 4 cubed, we get 64 on both sides. So it checks out, telling us our answer of 86 is indeed our correct answer. So again, the way we solve these rational exponents, we rewrite the rational exponent with a radical, where the denominator's the index, and the numerator is still the exponent. We remember that even exponents are going to have two solutions, a plus or minus, since we had an odd solution. I mean, an odd exponent. We didn't have to worry about that. But the even index does require us to check our answer in case it had been an extraneous solution. Then we can solve, like peeling an onion, get rid of third power with third root, get rid of fourth root with fourth power, and then solve the remaining equation.